guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead, and today we are beginning another What We Eat in a Week video. So I am going to go through each day and breakfast, lunches, and suppers, just record what we're eating, and I'm going to tell you my, my plan. I have, first of all, I have not made up my menu plan for the week, but my plan for the menu plan is to go through and use up things here in the house that we just need to go ahead and use up. So things that might have expiration dates that are coming up. Um, I have a freezer I'd like to defrost, so pulling things out of that freezer. Just things that it's time for them to be used up. I'm going to attempt to incorporate those things into our meals and plan um, our food around those. So. We're gonna get started here. Samuel's already cooking breakfast for us this morning. Sarah, they just came in with the milk from Daisy the cow, so she's processing that. But we will get going on what we eat in a week. Here we go. I eat an apple. And you eat an apple. <laughs> I eat All right, Samuel's still cooking, but I've got children eating as the eggs come out. They get to go ahead, and so we're eating in shifts this morning but here David you've got a pretty plate so he's making fried up duck eggs and then we had some leftover turkey bacon from a seven layer salad that I made for the weekend and then also biscuits that were made they were made a week or two ago weren't they or longer than that I don't know how long this batch was in the freezer okay yeah these have been sitting in the freezer those are the biscuits there um, Daisy, our cow, has been giving a tremendous amount of cream, which Sarah then turns into butter, which then butter. means we have leftover buttermilk. Which means there's like a lot of biscuits. A lot of biscuits were made with the buttermilk and stashed in the freezer. So just pulled some out this morning, and that's looks like a nice big breakfast. Good stuff. <laughs> David, you look half asleep still. <laughs> Okay, and we put up our sign here. This is our reminder, because if you guys watched our videos from previous months, we have trouble remembering to film until the food is like 80% already eaten. So this means it's really good and we didn't want to wait. Yeah, we're gonna try to do better this month though, and this is our handy reminder. So, okay guys, we'll see you back at lunchtime. Okay, lunch is clean out mama's fridge. We're eating all the leftovers today. Um, this is some canned mandarin oranges that the expiration date, they needed to go ahead and be used up. Some leftover baked chicken and beef brisket. And we have a, oh, a barbecue sauce thing that goes on top of that. Still some more bacon left over from breakfast. There's some oats that, I don't know if anybody's going to touch that. And some mashed potatoes. So... We are just eating on that. I do think there's still some chocolate chip cookies here. Let me grab them. Yep, we got some <laughs> cookies left over from the weekend. No, 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 Are you going to eat cookies? Yeah. And then we some did. biscuits still from breakfast. We so did. it's just everybody we eat a hodgepodge did. of food. What? We do. We share. Yeah. Yeah, we share the cookies. Yeah. All with mama. It will be baby? For babies? I will go. Really? I will. Oh, the girls? The uh, girls are going to share the cookies? All yeah. right. <laughs> okay, we'll get boys in here and get everybody to be eating, and then we'll be back at supper time. <laughs> all right, next thing I'm going to be working on is I had all these, I had four baggies of this. It's beef. But it's some meat, but mostly bone. Like, it, there's lots of really bony pieces in here. And I wasn't really certain what to do with this. Yeah, see, like, that's all a bone there. I decided just to cover this all with water and cook it and then pull the meat off the bones and maybe make a soup out of it. Maybe a beef barley soup. That's my current plan. We'll see how this works out. And then I'm guessing I'd have a, you know, beef broth from this as well when it's all said and done. So I'm going to get that going and work that into our meal rotation also. 
Okay, supper time. Big old pot of stew. Of uh, stoop. It's it's soup soup and stew. It's stoop. <laughs> okay, yep, so that beef that I showed you earlier in the pot. It's been pulled off the bone. Some carrots and green beans and potatoes in broth. Salt and pepper and garlic scape. Yeah, I put a bit of garlic scape powder. Garlic scape powder. We eat it. Okay, and some saltines there. So, you already eaten? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and have our soup and we'll pray and eat. It's a good night for soup anyway. We had to have the wood stove going because it's cold outside. So, it's a good soup night, huh? All right, see you in the morning. And breakfast time. This one's mine here. Just some eggs, avocado, and more of that turkey bacon that needed to be used up. And then the, this is the last of the malto meal. Like, okay, there is a smidgen in there. <laughs> oh, putting that into bowls. So the malto meal, I had had a stockpile of it, and children started to complain that they didn't really care for it much anymore, so I switched to cream of barley, which they do enjoy better. But I still had this malto meal, and we've been here and there going through it, so this is the last of it. That's kind of my, my hope for this week, is to clear out things that just need to go. So they're taking the malto meal and putting some butter in there with some maple syrup and some cinnamon. And so there's that. Now, there's, there was not quite enough for everybody to have so there are let me get in here a few biscuits that were pulled out of the freezer and they're just in there warming up too so that'll supplement what's left over there so that is breakfast today and uh, we'll see you guys at lunchtime David is commemorating the end of the Malto Mill era doo, doo, doo. he says it is done the Malto meal is over. It is over. <laughs> we are free of the Malto meal. <laughs> well, almost forgot to show you. They have, oh, here, let me come to this side. Um, apple jelly and apple syrup here. Look at the little leavings in there. This is what's been sitting in my refrigerator. And so those are going to get gone this morning on biscuits. And what did Sarah say? The pear jam? was eaten up yesterday okay so little by little we're getting these little leavens out of the refrigerator and then we're getting our butter in there too so oh ta -da. and I came in from feeding cats so okay everything's getting laid out and ready <laughs> what baby <laughs> let's see here Boop -a -doo. She just woke up. You still have a sleepy face? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're finishing up some school over here and getting going on lunch, which is just hot dog bun pizzas today and some Hi, leftovers. Hi. What are you doing to David? What, what are you doing? <laughs> David is trying to grate up the mozzarella cheese for the hot dog bun pizzas. You put it on the wrong way. Put oh, I put it on for left-handed people. I was going to do it, but then I needed a film, so I recruited David. What? Maybe bad. You were being bad? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm not being bad. I'm joking. You're joking? Yeah. I'm not being bad. I'm joking. So, yeah, David's getting this done. Okay, if you have not heard about our little handy-dandy gadget that a viewer sent us, we highly, highly recommend this cheese grater. It makes the job super quick, and we have it in our Amazon storefront. So, we'll put a link there in the description box for this. Um, a lot easier than... Here, let me pull out the... Oh, it's, it's not in there. Well, it's a lot easier than one of those, or even the box grater that we used to use before. But I guess, is it in the dishwasher, maybe? Probably. I think it's in the dishwasher, but... 
horsey. A horsey. That's for tea. <laughs> That's for making tea. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, we. It's I'm pretty. Gonna, I'm gonna so, okay. Finish. We're going to wrap up uh, getting lunch finished up. And we'll show you when everything's all done. All right. And here's the hot dog bun pizzas. Uh, this one here has some turkey pepperoni added on to it. And then this one's just plain cheese. So children can pick from that. There's still some biscuits left over with some jam from lunch. And then, okay, David's got his, but I'm just having some of the meat that was still left over and a Trim Healthy Mama pumpkin cream cheese muffin. And then some of this, this was yogurt that I got on the reduced um, clearance thing at Kroger a week or so ago. So that's my lunch. Sarah's having the last of the mashed potatoes and some more of the meat. And Rebecca, what are you eating? Pizza. Pizza. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. I had two of them. You had two of them. Yeah. Yeah, you like it, don't you? Right there. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to eat our lunch, and we'll see you guys back for supper time. All right, supper time. I've got boys still bringing firewood in for the stove, but, and, well, I'm still checking homeschool stuff, too. It, things are going late today, but <laughs> it's been a productive day, hasn't it? Uh, supper tonight is just leftovers. I'm very thankful for a super big pot of soup. You want you want some camera time? Yeah. <laughs> it's a neat trick, baby. Yeah. So, okay. You got firewood in? Okay. So, it is cold outside tonight. Here comes David in now, too. They're straggling in. Hot soup for supper. So, it's a good night for hot soup. But, yeah, just that same soup that I showed you guys last night. And I think we may wipe it out tonight. So, we will see you guys in the morning. Tell everybody bye. <laughs> okay, breakfast this morning finds the 15-year-old arm wrestling. <laughs> the 8-year-old. And surprisingly, Andrew won. <laughs> Sarah's making butter. She's got cream there. She's shaking the quarter cream. And they need to get out to go ahead and milk Daisy. Yeah. So we're going to show you breakfast real quick. And it's just, this is, no, they haven't milked the cow yet. They have to go milk Daisy. I'll pick it. Mm -hmm. So they need to eat real fast. Do you milk the cow? No. No, why not? I thought I get bigger when I milk the cow. When I get bigger, I'll milk the cow, yes. Okay, <laughs> breakfast this morning. I think is just toast and this is the bread that I make there's a whole video on this I can put it in the description box um, we grind up spelt and hard red wheat and this is what I make our bread out of so I uh, just slathered some butter from Daisy the cow on there mama's got her coffee and this is sausage scramble that's what we're having this morning we take uh, ground up turkey meat and combine it with a sausage seasoning that I make up. There's a video on that too, and I can put that link in the description box. But we cook up the um, turkey meat with the sausage seasoning, and then add in eggs. Um, now the eggs over here are from, these are water glassed eggs that we put up back in April. And I put up, sev was it seven buckets? Um, I thought it was nine. Yeah, I think it may have been nine. It was seven last year. We put up nine this year and six dozen in each bucket. So we've got quite a few here. I'll show you what the inside. Oh, if I can get it open here, one handed. Oh, hold on. That's what it looks like inside now. Just submerged in lime water. And it keeps, and it'll keep for, it'll keep for at least a year. But, so that is breakfast this morning, sausage scramble and toast. And then we'll get to work on the rest of the day. Finish up morning chores, and then get going on homeschool. And so far, guys, 
Our sign is working. Film food. We have not forgotten a single meal so Film far. Food. There's Film the trick. Food. Oh yeah, we've got it on Film that side food. too. That was the better side. That's the better side? Okay. I need to get my tablecloth back on the table Film. today too. I hung it outside Film on the clothesline food. overnight. Film food. So it would freeze Film dry. Food. <laughs> okay. Food. We'll see you guys at lunchtime. Film. All right, lunchtime today. They're just kind of eating on the run. Me eating pizza. Yeah. <laughs> this is what she calls pizza. It's not actually pizza. It's cheese quesadillas that's sliced up into little triangles. So a two-year-old calls them pizza. But these are the flour tortillas that I get at a cheaper price through Sam's Club because I have them delivered instead of buying them there in the store. There's cheese in there. Yeah. And we're using up the cheese here. Sarah's got the baggie of cheese. This was in my freezer. This was cheese that was, was it left over from the meet and greet? Yes. Okay, it was left over from the meet and greet. It's been sitting in my freezer. And again, the theme of this week is what can we get out of the freezer? So that's what uh, is getting made up. This is a nice quick lunch. Sarah and I don't really eat the cheese quesadillas, so there's still a little bit of leftover soup here, that beef vegetable stew, and there's enough for Sarah and I. Yes, you can have another one. There's enough for Sarah and I to each have a bowl. I've got some more of those Trim Healthy Mama pumpkin cream cheese cupcakes. These are sugar-free, so I'm having these as well. Oh, we didn't get out the mandarin oranges. We have cans of mandarin oranges still that uh, we need to be going through. So I think I'll open some of those up. Well, we'll get some more. I'll get some more out. Just a minute. Okay. Anna and Abigail are going through the chocolates on the, on the little countdown calendars that we were sent. And they're going to divide up some chocolates. Andrew got the mandarin oranges out. Sarah's got her bowl of soup over there on the table. Samuel's going to go ahead and pray and then eat. So, there we go. It's a hodgepodge, but it'll fill bellies. And we're just pausing at school. And I'm not even clearing the books off the table. We're just going to eat. David is in there. Wave, David. <laughs> He's in the living room doing school in the recliner. So, okay, quick good. stop for lunch. Is it good? Yeah. You like it. Okay, mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys back at supper, actually. Are they going to have to film it? They're going to have to film some tonight because Sarah and I are going to our <laughs> ladies' homestead meeting. So we'll be taking our supper with us. But uh, Daddy and the rest of the crew are going to have a quick, easy supper. So I hope they remember to film. You have to remind them. <laughs> Say bye-bye. All right, not quite supper time yet, but Sarah and I are getting ready to leave for our ladies' homestead meeting. And so I was gonna show you our food stuff. Sarah's getting okra seeds ready to pass out to the ladies there at the meeting. We like to share seeds. And I'm taking, these are two SCOBY, uh, kombucha SCOBYs with some starter liquid that I'm going to take to see if any of the ladies want those. But as far as food goes, here's our little to-go boxes. So this one's mine. These are chicken sausages that Aldi carries. Then I've got an avocado, some Colby Jack cheese, and the last of my Trim Healthy Mama pumpkin cream cheese muffins. And then I also have a yogurt. It's a sugar-free yogurt that's there. Um, I got these on the reduced clearance thing at Kroger. Sarah, oh, and I'm taking Azevia with me too. Sarah is going to have the leftover chicken that we still had, avocado, cheese, and then she's taking some of her chunky applesauce that she has canned up. And were these our apples? Do you remember? Uh, yes, the chunky one was made with our apples. This is our apples from our property here, so. That's what we're taking. I am going to grab a quart jar of the um, Daisy's cream for the ladies to uh, snack on with their coffee. We didn't make a treat. Yeah. Totally forgot. We usually take I a treat. I was making butter. So I, I know. We were so busy with stuff today. Oh, Sarah's also taking, this is a tea 
that she got from Miss Claudia. I think it's a cranberry mint. Okay. The smell. That's your mean, best guess. Good, so. so she's taking the tea along, and I can have some coffee there too. Yeah. So I am going to recruit children, remind Daddy to film when you guys have your supper tonight. Okay? And I put the sign back on the table. I still don't have my tablecloth on there yet, but it's uh, at least made it inside the house. So, one step closer. <laughs> still got homeschool just all over the table, but it's just real life here. So, I will see you guys at breakfast time, but you guys ought to see Sean at supper time. One more video real quick before I run out the door. I'm going to show you what Sean's going to make up for supper tonight. This is two pounds of deer meat that we harvested off of our property. Eat he's going them. to brown that up and you're going to eat them. Yeah. And then he's going to add some of this. This is some canned chili sauce that we got in a, Bingo. it was a food box distribution that they had months and months and months ago. It's been on my shelf. So he's going to throw two cans of that in with the meat plus a can of pinto beans and a big can of pinto beans and a regular can of navy beans and they can eat that with saltine crackers is my plan so i have to run out the door but uh you're gonna remind daddy yeah okay for sure <laughs> okay everyone got supper done jana showed you our ingredients real simple i uh, just got the meat browned mixed in the beans and the chili sauce and that's what it looks like in the pot looks really yummy and just put it in the bowl and we've got some cheese shredded up and crackers i suspect everyone's going to want some cheese and crackers with it and makes a nice easy quick yummy meal so i guess we will be seeing you at breakfast next all right guys Sarah and I, we had a good time at our ladies meeting last night, didn't we, Sarah? Good stuff. So, but we did get home later than usual and um, a little bit slower going this morning. But breakfast is soaked oats with raisins in it. This was just started up last night. Um, oats, apple cider vinegar, some whole grain flour. We usually use spelt and some water and then raisins soaked in water overnight in the morning we dump everything together in one pot and cook it up and then children add butter cinnamon and maple syrup to their bowls and let me see i always show david's bowl i'll show sarah's this morning Mine's stirred in. yours is already all stirred in but that's what it looks like so and i'm happy i got my table put back together <laughs> but now we have a pile of boxes to take care of we did an unboxing video uh what two nights ago and now i've got a big pile of boxes to take care of so okay yeah david's is not stirred up yet you can kind of see the cinnamon and butter not all mixed in yet but we will see you guys back at break or it's uh, lunchtime what baby what what are you reading what is it? Say it again. What are you reading? A little red hen. The little red hen. <laughs> you like that book, don't you? Yeah. Yes. All right, it is lunchtime. Are you hungry? Oh, bubba bee. Oh, bubba bee. <laughs> okay, lunchtime today is just hot dogs and chips and some leftovers. So we've got the hot dog buns that we've had in the freezer since the meet and greet. We're still working on those little by little. And most of the children really don't care for hot dog buns, you know, with their hot dogs. So we only get out one package. Listen. So, yeah, hot dog buns and uh, hot dogs and chips and these are from the meet and greet also we're still working on those there's a little bit of leftovers here that i'm probably going to get into the chicken sausages there's some of the mandarin oranges i'm still working on those yogurts and sliced up some cheese and we can always slice up some more if more people want some cheese so you're like following me like a shark behind me are you hungry yeah. yeah, she's hungry. So, and Sarah's having another cup of tea. 
she's enjoying all the teas that uh, Miss Claudia sent in the calendars there. So, okay, we're going to get to work, eating some lunch, and then get back to schoolwork today. Okay, for supper tonight while well, Mama is gone uh, shopping, um, we have a deer roast that she got together right before she left. Um, she's got onions in there. So we cooked that up in the Dutch oven. And then I did roasted potatoes and Parmesan zucchini and then a cucumber tomato salad to go along with it. So that's what we're going to have for supper tonight. And I guess we'll see you in the morning. And it's breakfast time! And it's pancakes for breakfast today. You stepped on my toe. You hurt me. You hurt me. You hurt me. Um, Sarah made up these pancakes because she had a whole bunch of buttermilk. A whole bunch of buttermilk left over from uh, making butter. So this is the maple syrup that's heated up over here. And we don't have a microwave, so we just put this in a saucepan with a little water in the bottom. And then we set this in there on top of a, here, let me just show you guys. A little um, washcloth that we crocheted. I think I crocheted this one years and years ago. And that's the only thing we use this red washcloth for, is to set our maple syrup um, glass measuring cup in here in a pan. Of hot water so that's how we do that instead of using it in a microwave so um, this here is butter from Daisy our cow and this of course is just store butter so we're gonna get children in here and get them started making up plates I want me water. you want some water I think Abigail's gonna get you some water okay okay all right we'll get children up and going and it's lunch time <laughs> is it good stuff yeah. Okay, so I did, you guys will have seen this last week. Um, it was my grocery shopping haul, and I had gotten a super good deal on these Markdown salad kits. And so what we're having for lunch today is there were three baggies that I had, I had purchased and um, put them together. It comes with the dressing and everything. It's that many, it's that many. Yes, show them how many. Three! That many salad kits. You are smart. <laughs> and um, so the three salad kits with the little, oh, the little, what, wontons? Is that what it calls them? Wonton strips, dressing. And we added two cans of canned chicken here just from the store. I had some that was getting close to their expiration date. And again, I'm trying to go through things that need to be used up and, uh, pull things forward on my shelves, and uh, just get updated on things. So that is lunch today, and supper tonight. We plan to do a live stream on the channel, so supper is going to be quick and easy. I want to do our dish. You what? You eating there? Yeah. On the island? Yeah, I'm careful. You need to go holler at the other children and say, it's lunch time. Come eat. <laughs> That'll work too. So, okay, guys, I'll see y'all back at supper time. And it's supper time, and we almost forgot. <laughs> Rebecca is snoozing on the table. <laughs> Emily read her a story till she fell asleep, <laughs> but it's not bedtime. <laughs> so, anyway, we got distracted, but it is supper time. Some are still eating, so. We're doing um, a live stream tonight on the channel, so it's a quick supper, which is just chili, which is leftover from the meet and greet. And here, I'll take you over to the stove here and show you what's left. Okay, so just some chili that was uh, left over from the meet and greet. We've had it in the freezer. Um, hot dogs, these were just cooked up and uh, left over from lunch just the other day. So we're doing that, and some are putting corn chips and shredded cheese for a Frito chili pie, or hot dogs, saltine crackers. There was some leftover cucumber tomato salad. So 
Just a quick supper hodgepodge there, getting everybody fed before we do our live stream in an hour. Um, I recently bought a 10 pound roll of ground beef, and so that has been cooked up today, but I'm trying to drain off the fat here, and I'm going to put it here in the freezer bags, um, you know, roughly two pounds, a little less than two pounds per bag, and I'll get this in the freezer then too. So that is supper, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning then. And breakfast this morning is just a simple scrambled eggs. And again, this is just eggs that uh, were water glassed. So these eggs were laid back in April and they've been a, in a lime water solution until now, which is early December. And they are good, good. And then some toast. This is the homemade bread that I make with grinding up spelt and hard red wheat and some butter from Daisy our cow and here's actually this is in process for today more butter going in the butter molds there Andrew's getting some kombucha to go with breakfast this morning and we've still got more plates to fill up but let's see oh Sarah went with peanut butter slathered on her bread <laughs> so all right, just a simple, simple now breakfast, and uh, we'll get we on with our day. Butter. All right, lunchtime today, homemade hamburger helper. I've shown this before in other videos, but in this one, we used two pounds of deer meat from deer that Sean got this year. Um, just the elbow macaroni, about five cups of the elbow macaroni for the two pounds of ground beef, and then add two sticks of butter, one cup of milk and then a cup of this cheese powder that we get off of Amazon and it makes a really good homemade hamburger helper uh, there's some leftover cucumber tomato salad that's gonna go with it but this is what uh, we're having today and I'll see you guys back at supper time all right time to make up plates for supper tonight these here were some frozen uh, chicken wings that were given out in a just a food box distribution thing that a church did around here months and months ago. And this is the last bag that I had in my freezer. So it needed to be used up and tonight was the night I did finally uh, make it up here. This just has, we did a little bit of olive oil on there, uh, salt, pepper, oregano, you put garlic powder on there too yeah Sarah put some garlic powder on there too uh, then just some peas these were frozen peas um, yellow potatoes that these are just buttered parsley potatoes that we've had in the root cellar when I got a good deal on yellow potatoes at the store and then the roasted radishes there's just a little bit of these here these were still left over from the meet and greet in mid-october so nearly two months ago these have been sitting in the refrigerator and they actually radishes hold up really really well in the refrigerator so they did just need to be used up though so we are doing that tonight and we're going to go ahead and make up some plates and get going on supper tonight we'll see you guys in the morning does it look good baby Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's not waiting. Oh, she goes straight for the peas. <laughs> Do you need a spoon instead of a fork? Yeah. Anna's going to get her a spoon. I think the plates look pretty, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Sarah likes making up the pretty plates. I like the pretty colors on there. All right. Waiting on Daddy and Sam to get theirs, and then we get to eat. Okay, for breakfast this morning, um, we are having banana chocolate chip muffins. And these are our family favorite, as you can see by all the grinning little faces. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. <laughs> Eat them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I baked these in the silicone baking cups. I think they're in our Amazon store. I'm not sure. But they're, they make it just really cute. And then... But then you have kids finding over, I want the last green one! 
As apparently <laughs> those with like green wrappers or pink wrappers or purple wrappers taste better. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> but gonna eat these up and then I'll see you for lunch. All right, lunch time. Are you gonna have sandwich and chippies? And cheese. And cheese, yes. Okay, so we are going to see friends this afternoon. And Esther. Oh, you think Esther? No, not Esther. Different friends. And so we're just going to have quick lunch of sandwiches. And this is bread that I got at Kroger for 99 cents on sale. It's just been sitting in the freezer. Um, the turkey from the once a month grocery shopping haul that has been in the freezer. I pulled it out last night. Uh, stuck it in the refrigerator to thaw. Um, the greens are from the greenhouse. They're still growing well, even middle of December. They're beautiful. I need to film in the greenhouse because I think it's beautiful. Uh, the cheese was from Sam's Club. And the chips, believe it or not, are still from the meet and greet. We're still working away on what was left over there. And so that is what is for lunch. Oh, there's tomato and some uh, purple, onion, purple red. onion. Red. Red okay. onion, even though it looks purple. Same way with cabbage. They say red cabbage, but it looks purple to me. And they say purple grapes when they're actually more blue, and the red grapes are more purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. <laughs> and then, of course, yeah, there's the uh, muffins yeah, left over if anybody wants dessert. And then there's some leftover chili heating up over here for Frito chili pies for those that don't want the sandwiches and chips. So we're going to eat real quick. And then we're going to clean up and go see friends. Yay! Yeah. We'll be back at supper time though tonight yeah. and show you guys what we're doing for supper. Oh, you're sneaking up behind me here, David. <laughs> I about tripped right over you. Okay, we'll see you guys at supper. All right, supper time tonight. Since we knew we were gonna be with friends today, supper got put in the crock pot. It's just a simple stew with a beef roast, some potatoes and carrots, and some frozen green beans thrown in there. And then Sarah had biscuits in the freezer, so they got pulled out. So we were able to come home right before supper and get to eating. So we're gonna go ahead and scarf it down. What, baby? Do an unboxing video? Almost done. We're almost done. Yeah. Yes. And then they want to do an unboxing video because we have gifts in the living room to open up. So mm -hmm. we will do that next. All right, guys, that is the end of our what we eat in a week video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. It's the next day. We're doing breakfast and it's just simple cereal this morning. We are keeping it cereal. This is the life cereal and the honey nut Cheerios that I got on sale. Super good sales that beat out the um, Aldi generic brand, the price per ounce. So this was a good deal. We've got your scoot to the side. That's Daisy's milk there. Daisy, our Jersey cow. And um, Mama's coffee. So that's breakfast this morning. If you liked this video, guys, please give us a thumbs up. And make sure you are subscribed. Sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you. So please double check. And then if you could tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark Family Homestead.